Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days and we're continuing with JavaScript for testers and today we're going to talk about conditional statements. We are in module 6, so after conditional statements we're going to move into a module 7, JavaScript loops. Okay, so conditional statements. Conditional statements in JavaScript are used to perform different action based on different conditions. Uh, that means if something is happening, if uh, something is true, if we have a certain outcome, we either move along, execute a certain thing, or we might execute another thing. Okay. Uh, the main conditional statements are if, and this one you already have seen during the previous lesson, use it if uh, to specify a block of code to be executed if a specified condition is true. Example, if it is raining, you take an umbrella. The second one is else. You can use else in the if block. So use else to specify a block of code to be executed if the same condition is false. For example, if it is raining, you take an umbrella. Else, you can leave your umbrella at home. So the else block comes if the first condition uh, is false, you can move into the else block. Then there is else if. Use else if to specify a new condition to test if the first condition is false. For example, if it is raining, take an umbrella. Else if it is cloudy, take a jacket. Else wear sunglasses. So if there are multiple conditions that you have to go through, not just if else, you would use if, else if, else if, else if, and then finally else. And the last one is switch. The switch statement is used to perform different actions based on different conditions. It's like a big else if, else if chain. So instead of typing else if multiple times, uh, if you have multiple conditions to choose from, you can just use switch. And if the condition is met, the block of code will be executed. So for example, you decide what to wear based on the weather. And the weather can be uh, rainy, sunny, cloudy, and so on. So whatever the condition is, through the switch statement, uh, you can execute the specific block of code that matches this condition. Okay, so let's get into the code and practice a little bit. Let's create new file here. So 6 dot uh, conditional statements dot js. Okay, so let's start with an example that we kind of practiced already uh, during the logical operator, and that's our if uh, statement, right? So uh, first we're going to just do plain if, and uh, let's say we're going to declare a variable uh, weather, right? Uh, let's say whether it is uh, raining, okay? So if it is raining, so let's say if weather is triple equal, to uh, raining, so we have an actual condition. Okay, we have this particular variable that has value raining, and we're actually comparing it with the text raining. So if the weather is raining, so if the value stored within weather, this raining, uh, is actually equal to the value that we have here in uh, the if block, so raining is equal to raining. Then we're going to go ahead and execute um, what will be in the curly braces, right? And we can say console.log uh, take an umbrella, right? So uh, take an umbrella because it is raining. Let's do a statement. Let's print it out. So node six tab conditional statement and we see uh, we're taking an umbrella so this if block uh, this is resulted to true and it went ahead and executed this part of the code perfect so now let's talk about else so uh, if let's just say else so this else uh, is essentially we're closing uh, a, blo a block of code if block of code was an else if the first condition we did not satisfy so else statement uh, so let's say re let's reassign uh, the variable weather so because we did declare let we can store 
a new data within this one. So instead of this, we will overwrite it on this uh, line eight. To do that, we just don't provide a let, we just put the name of the variable and we add new value to it, it was unequal. So let's say it is sunny. So the weather is now being updated to sunny uh, after line eight. And we're going to have the same part of the code. So I'm just going to highlight it, control C to copy, control V to paste. So same line of the code is executing here. So if the weather is raining, um, we take an umbrella, right? But the weather is no longer raining. You can see weather is actually sunny. Now if I'll run this code, so there's nothing coming back, right? No longer raining. So what do we do here? Well, then in this case, we can say else. So if this condition actually resulted to false, I'm going to skip this part of the code and I'm going to go directly into else. So something else should happen. Console log, uh, it is not raining. So let's run again. And now we can see it is not raining. So this uh, comparison defaulted to false. It skipped this console log and went to the else block here. And the else block executed by default because the if part was false, right? So it's, it's printed out, it is not raining. Uh, okay, so then there is else if statement. So else if statement is uh, when you have multiple conditions that you have to check. So for, for example, let's uh, reassign other, our weather variable again, and let's make it cloudy. Okay, so weather now is cloudy. Uh, so let's say if uh, weather is equal to raining, so we can actually just reuse the same block here. Uh, if weather is equal to raining, we're going to take an umbrella. Else if, so we know there is expected particular condition that we want to check for. So then else if, and we have another condition to check here, weather is um, cloudy. So if the weather is cloudy, we want to do something something else uh, so let's take take a jacket right so it's no longer raining we don't need an umbrella but uh, it's cloudy and pretty chilly so we need to take a jacket so there's our eels F so it's taking a particular condition that it's trying to look for and then again at the very end um, we can still have else to close everything out, right? So else, so if this doesn't match, if this, and this doesn't match, it's still going to default to the else. Uh, and let's say else console log, uh, just, uh, just stay home, uh, play video games. I don't know. Not sure what kind of weather is there. Maybe it's sunny and you don't want to go and walk out in the sun. So it's not, uh, weather is now cloudy. So if I'm going to execute this, let's clear it out. Let's comment out all of this stuff right here. Right. So this block is running. We declared weather variable on line two, reassigned it to sunny on line eight, and then reassigned it again on line 16. Now this weather is actually cloudy and we're running all of those checks. First we start and check if the weather is raining, it is not. Then we move to else if block and we check if the weather is cloudy, it is. So we're gonna take a jacket. But if it was something else, something something else that rather than raining or cloudy, it would just go and go into the final else block. So I'm gonna run it again and we can see it's take a jacket. Let's say if, uh, let's say our weather is bananas, right? Something's crazy happening. Let me run it and just stay home and play video games, right? So it's not raining, it's not cloudy, we default to this. If the weather is raining, again, right? So we're just gonna end up uh, in the first, uh, in the first block right here.
Okay, so you see how that works, how you can use else if uh, statements to kind of go through the logic and execute something specific based on the conditions that you have, if they re result in true. All right, so let's clear it out. Um, the last one that we're going to talk about is switch. So switch is kind of an easy way uh, to have your multiple else f blocks. Uh, for example, let's say weather is sunny again, right? If it were what, if if it ever was, okay, it was. So it's sunny again, uh, and we can say switch. We we'll start with a switch, and then within the parentheses, we are looking at a partic particular particular. Um, variable again so we're looking at the weather and now we can start describing our cases right in curly braces we claim our first case so if the weather is something so what it is in the first case let's say it is raining right then we do what and you see the syntax is uh, a little bit uh, different here so you actually have to have case uh, and then semicolon, right? So case is raining, and what do we do? We do console log, it is raining. Take an umbrella. And then we need to break. Uh, we need to type in break like this. Why do we need to type break? So the switch statement doesn't move further along to other cases. If condition was met, this, uh, line 30 gets executed and then we need to stop don't go through other cases because we will have multiple cases so the next case is <clears throat> uh, so let's say cloudy cloudy right and then console log take a, a jacket right same thing here we need to break uh, let's add one more case. So let's say actually case that weather is sunny. So if the weather is sunny, we're going to say uh, take sunglasses, right? And again, we have to break here. Otherwise, it will go execute whatever comes out uh, next. And then let's say none of the conditions uh, were met. You have to have some default case. How, uh, what are you gonna print out if we didn't have any type of weather uh, matching the actual weather variable here, right? Like, let's say there was no, no sunny. How are we gonna default, right? What are we gonna do? So you can say here default and uh, whatever you want to type out. So let's say console log weather is bananas right so it's not raining it's not sunny it's not cloudy it's just something else something different uh, and we can still add here break at the end right so you're still saying we're done here this is our end line so now let's comment all this out save it and let's go ahead and execute this code Okay, so we're actually in the case uh, sunglasses, right? You can see weather is sunny, so it went here, switch to through switch statement. Uh, is it raining? No, it's not. Is it cloudy? No, it's not. Is it sunny? So is weather here is sunny? Yes, it is. So let's execute this block of code and let's break it. Uh, now let's say weather is A, B, C, D, E, whatever. None of the values here are met. Uh, what is going to end up happening? We will end up in the default uh, block, right? Is, it, is the weather rainy? No, it's not. Is it cloudy? No. Is it sunny? No. Uh, okay, then just let's default and print this out. So let's run it and you can see weather is bananas. So as, as soon as switch statement hits the case it will execute the code inside and to prevent it from going through other cases going any further you just hit the break right uh, so we can say weather is cloudy and run it take a jacket right let's say weather is raining run it 
it is raining. Take an umbrella. Hopefully this was clear. It was Alex USA Days. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.